Greetings to you, my fellow St. Lucians, visitors to our beautiful island home, and to all who are viewing or listening to me. The health professionals at our Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs here in St. Lucia have advised that we are still in the middle of what is described as a COVID-19 wave. More confirmed COVID-19 cases have been reported over the last few weeks and people both young and old continue to die as a direct result of COVID-19 and COVID-19 related illness. Let us take a look at the current situation. Over the last 14 days, 1,376 new cases were noted and we have 1,717 active cases in country. We have noted six COVID-19 deaths over the last 14 days. These statistics are used to trigger action at all levels of government. With this current situation, there is the urgent need for us to do much more as individuals and as a community to fight this virus. As I have said before, this is a war and we must win for there can be no viable economy or robust development if we are sick. The protocols to limit the gathering of people in large groups will therefore be strengthened with the hope to reduce the spread of infection and eventually stop it. Over the last three weeks, the priority of our new government has been to provide much needed additional support to the arms of the public health system which manage COVID-19 directly. We have commenced actions to improve the conditions at the respiratory hospital to ensure compassionate quality of care. The testing capacity at the Ezra Long Laboratory has improved and we note an increase of up to five times in the daily testing numbers during the last seven days. An increase in the number of contact tracers has improved the timeliness of this important process in disease management. We are now able to alert the positive cases and their contacts within a reduced time period. Vaccination coverage at the level of the community is steadily improving. During the course of this week, we noted up to 100% increase in the number of people who turned out daily to get vaccinated. During the month of July, we administered a total of 4,145 doses of vaccines. For August 1st to August 26th, the data shows a total of 8,297 doses of vaccines administered. In St. Lucia, we continue to note the benefits of being fully vaccinated. To date, 100% of patients hospitalized for COVID-19 are unvaccinated. 100% of COVID-19 deaths and COVID-19 related deaths, unfortunately, are unvaccinated. Only 1.6% of fully vaccinated persons have contracted COVID-19 with very mild symptoms or they are asymptomatic and making a full recovery. Due to the confirmation of the Delta variant in our country, it is even more important that all recommended public health measures are taken to protect our health and well-being. The public is urged to avoid social activities and to get vaccinated at the soonest. The vaccines are available free of charge on a daily basis at the various wellness centers around the island. Please contact your nurse at the wellness centers as soon as possible. Although we do not mandate vaccination, we encourage the public to follow the science and get vaccinated to keep themselves and families safe. We are working to improve the effectiveness of regular communication to the public in both English and Creole to ensure the dissemination of timely and relevant information. In addition to daily updates in relation to new infections, 
key public health officials will be disseminating information on COVID-19 at a specific time every day during the week. More information on this will be announced next week. Measures to control the spread of COVID-19 are also being strengthened at our ports of entry. This week, health officials, along with other partners, started inspections of the main ports of entry to improve on the present system and to improve efficiencies both in relation to structure and function at ports of entry. After a review of the current trend in COVID-19 infections, Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre called an emergency cabinet meeting on Thursday, August 26, 2021. The Chief Medical Officer updated the cabinet on the current COVID-19 situation, indicators, risks, and national trends associated with the current infection wave were discussed. Risks associated with the tourism sector, the transportation sector, social activities, bars, and the call centers were specifically examined and discussions on actions within each sector or area of concern are ongoing with the relevant representatives of sectors and agencies. In an effort to urgently address the current spike in cases, the Cabinet of Ministers have agreed to the following measures effective Saturday, August 28, 2021 to Monday, September 6, 2021. Blended approaches at workplaces along with the strengthening of infection prevention and control measures at all sectors. Adjustment to the curfew times. Saturday, August 28th, curfew starts from 4 p.m. and ends on Sunday, August 29th at 4 a.m. Sunday, August 29th, curfew starts from 1 p.m. and ends on Monday, August 30th at 4 a.m. Monday, August 30th to Friday, September 3rd, Curfew will be starting from 7 p.m. and ends every day at 4 a.m. Saturday, September 4, curfew starts from 4 p.m. and ends on Monday, September 6, at 4 a.m. This means all day Sunday, there will be a curfew. I repeat, this means all day Sunday, September 5th, there will be a curfew which will end at 4 a.m. on Monday, September 6th. For the transportation sector, minibus operators are to travel with a maximum of 10 passengers per load. Prohibition of all social activities and family household activities and limited to 10 individuals per household. A review of the public health data and indicators will be carried out in the next seven days to guide any further measures to be implemented. We continue to appeal to the public to take personal responsibility to safeguard health and well-being of each individual, their families and community. Continue to follow the protocols and let us make St. Lucia a safe and healthy country. I thank you.